was still laughing because I was saying underwear. <laughs> You're silly. I'm silly. You know, like underwear. <laughs> I think I might have maybe run run the word a little bit too much. Maybe just a bit. Alright, so we're going to try, not we, she is going to try, uh, now that she's gotten some rest, playing uh, against Sparky. If, if I am going to take an executive decision, if it gives her only one color of mana, uh, oh, okay, well, no. alright, so Evangeline, can we keep this hand? You can use the cursor and go through them if you need. What do we have? We have one plains, one island. You may have to speak up two, just a bit. We have one plains, one island, two healer hawks yep, that cost one white mana. Good. Empyrean eagle. We have one Empyrean eagle. How much does that cost? It cost one blue mana, one white mana, and one mana of any color. Good. Okay. And then Siren Storm Tamer. Uh, we have Siren Storm Tamer that cost one blue mana. Good. Zephyr Gull. And we have one Zephyr Gull that cost one blue mana. Okay. So can we keep this hand? Yes. Yes. Why can we keep this hand? Because we have... You speak up. Because we have the stuff to play the hand. That's... yeah. That's basically it. Alright, so you, you hit keep seven. Alright. Hey, Sparky look. does first. I'm a planeswalker. Yes, you are. Alright, Sparky. You, you like to interrupt our concentration, so... Sorry, Sparks. Alright, your turn. Play the first hand. First turn. Whatever. I'm trying not to tell you what to do. So that's a 2-2. Two -two. And your creature flies, though, so you'll still be able to attack over it. Y you can see that it has the word flying on it, but here's a neat little thing about Magic Arena. You can also tell it flies because you can see it doing this little hovering animation. Alright, so, it's your turn. What do we do? Good. I thinking I can't about hear you. Yeah. what was what I were th you thinking about? If I could put this one to do that one. No. You, since you had already played the island, you couldn't swap it out to be a planes. All right, so you're, it's time for combat. So far, so good. That's a 4 2 trip. Right. It's asking if you would like to block with anything. Okay, I'm, I'm going to advise you in this case because I am 99% sure you don't remember what this card does. Uh, this is a card called Empyrean Eagle, it'll make your creatures with flying bigger. So, if you give up one of, or both of your creatures now, you won't be able to use the buff from Eagle as much. So... I am going to interject just a 
bit because she doesn't know the cards super well. I, I would I would advise you not to block. I would like to not block. Okay. Even so you just hit the space bar then. Even though. Okay. your turn. I know. Okay. Let her think for just a second. Let her think it through. Can't I do this one? Because I have blue, blue mana and white mana. I mean, you could. If this were paper magic and not arena, then the there wouldn't be <laughs> little hints all over the place that kind of edge you in a certain direction. Alright, think about this. Before you do anything, think. something. I could do that one and then yep, put this one. Yep, that's exactly right. Okay. So that's not the play I would have done, but that's fine. I would have played out the Empyrean. Which, I, I did give you a big old hint. But, okay, you're fine. Alright, now... You have a 1-1 one, one and a 5-5. Five, five. You can block with a 5-5. Five, five. You can block with a 5-5. Five, five. That is correct. Now, I'm going to give you a little, little hint. Alright. If they're attacking with smaller creatures than your biggest creature, it probably means that they have something up their sleeve. Probably means that they have a way to either kill your creature or make their creature bigger both. So you can block here, but you don't have to. If you block, they might have something that they can do. Just let me know. As an infect creature, or as an infect player, that is my bread and butter. You know a lot about this game. I, I like to think I, I better. I better. <laughs> All right. Ready? You play hard matches. Yep. Okay. I did get hit. Alright. Now. I could play this and then I would be able to play that. I don't know what she has against Empyrean Eagle, but she has something. <laughs> well, oh, it's good. I can play this one because I have one water and one I, have, blue, yeah. I have one blue mana. And I have one planes, one white. One white mana and it says one of any color. Yep. So I have another one white mana. There we go. Good 
good game. He won. He won. Got them to exactly zero. Victory, Evangeline. You proud of yourself now? I won against the computer. Yeah, Sparky is the computer. We are definitely not ready for human opponents because there's a lot less time in between turns when you play against human opponents. You don't have as much time to think about all of your plays. Also, you can imagine, human opponents tend to be just a little bit harder than that. Just a smidgen. Just a lot. So, maybe not against humans just yet. Not yeah, just yet. Unless, maybe still against Sparky. Yeah, you asked me yesterday what this is for. This shows my friends that are online. So maybe a friend of mine can come on and can kind of take it a little bit easy on you. I think that there's still a timer, but it's like Sparky, where you have a lot more time to work with. Alright, maybe we'll do that at some point. That'd be neat, right? Okay. You did well. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Good job. I'm proud of you. Bonk. You go in places, kiddo. Bonk, 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 As she... Bonk, bonk. <laughs> Bunk 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 I am going to give you a neat little reward. reward. Alright. So here you go. Ready? Ninja pack. And you get to open it. This one's on you, kiddo. Alright, what do we get this time? Tales of Master the Modern Age. <laughs> Tales of Master of the Modern Age. Boop. March of Burgeoning Life. Additional costs, blah blah blah. You may exile any number of green cards from your hand. This spell costs two less to cast for each card exiled this way. Choose target creature with mana value X or less than X. Search your library for a creature card with the same name as that creature. Put it onto the battlefield tap and shuffle. Okay. I forgot this card was not fantastic, was it? <laughs> Boon of Besiege You. Alright, gets X plus X plus X. Huh. Besiege You. Oh, it's the Pixel. Oh, it's Stained Glass. No, eh, yeah, I think. It's neat looking, that's what it is. It gets big. Search your library up to two basic land cards. Uh, forest cards, you'll put them in your hand, put up to one target land card from your graveyard on top of your library, and then you get a big ol' land creature. Well, not in land recruiting, but it cares about lands. It's a plant. And then, you're already dead. So any creature that was already dealt damage, destroy that creature, and then you draw a card. It's neat. Uh, it's it's neat, I'd like to think. Tales of Master Seshiro. Plus one, plus one counter on target creature or vi And the modern age. <laughs> creature vehicle you control against vigilance. Vigilance is the thing that makes it where you can attack and block after you've attacked. Otherwise, creatures that attack can't also block that turn. Modern Age. Little fairy spirit thingamajig. This is not a fairy, but it looks like it. This one looks like a... Uh, something you'd see in Spirited Away, I guess. Draw a card, discard a card, then do it again. Then you get a 2-3 flying creature. It's okay. I'd like to think. Lethal Exploit. Sounds like a video game glitch. <laughs> Looks like one. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. And then there's one more we haven't seen yet. That one right over there. Ooh, makes an insect. Befriending the moths. Target creature you control gets plus one plus one against flying till end of turn. Exile it, return it to... Ooh, okay. So it's a 2-4 flyer. That seems good for limited, but awfully expensive for constructed. Four mana for, for that. We only need three more of these. Oh, and we'll get another rare. That's right. 
the little gold card. We need one. We need three more mm -hmm. of these. That's true. And we'll get another what? Rare. The gold card there is a rare card. That means that I can turn it into any of the cards that have this gold symbol right there. Any card that has the gold symbol. So you could do that. This silver. one. Yep, that one. These silver ones turn into cards that have the silver icon on them. And these have the black icon. Those are called commons. And you can imagine by the name, that means they're pretty common. We get a lot of them. And there's only one of that. Mm-hmm. Just one March of Burgeoning Life. Only one rare per pack. Sometimes you even get a mythic, which has that cool little rare color. Red color, excuse me. Rare color. Yep. All right, that'll do it. Take two. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Say, give her bunny ears. Bye. Yeah. 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 <laughs>